This is a fun one. When an event doesn't go as planned, how do you fix them? <laughs> Well, if, if you're going to be an event planner, you better get used to everything not going your way. <laughs> not everything, but a lot of things don't go your way. You can plan and plan for months, for months and weeks, and it won't go your way. We just had a, a 25th business celebration. She wanted big tents. She wanted this, this fun celebration of 25 years of business. We had it all set up. It was all the State Farm, all red and white. We had the flowers out. We had everything. And one of the hurricanes that we got hit with this summer hit that party. And hard. And people were trying to figure out how to even get in. So in 20 minutes, we had to take that entire outdoor party and move it into a very small office and figure out how to make it work with the food and the bar and the <laughs> entertainment. So that's kind of what event planning is. It's it's not a matter of, of how you can fix it. Is well, you do fix it. You just kind of, but you don't want anyone to know you're fixing it. You just take another path and make it look as though this is what we had planned all along. We just <laughs> had those beautiful tents outside because we thought, what the heck? <laughs> Flooded the area where her tents were. Mm -hmm. So people would be, st you know, we, it was, but it all turned off out great. She sent me a beautiful thank you note and said, I couldn't have done it without you, and thank you so much, and I'm doing another event for her soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, my scariest one is, um, <laughs> he's already laughing. Um, about four years ago, three and a half, four years ago, on uh, June 19th, go to work, beautiful day. I don't have to worry about rain. Okay, it's not going to rain, the clouds are clear. Um, um, just had a beautiful, I was actually, for a very, don't do it, get it very often, I'm invited to the rehearsal dinner. I got so close to the family. So we get there, and it's beautiful. Now the ladies are in the reception room, and they're doing centerpieces. And a staff member come to me and asked me, do you want us to cook the food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up? Well, we're being evacuated. I said, for what? <laughs> There's a fire behind the hotel. I said, serious? <laughs> yes. Okay, so I go to the front desk. They know everything, okay? Go to the front desk. Are we being evacuated? Yes. Now? Yes. That means they got to my bride before I could. Oh. And she's in the shower washing her hair. And she's told to be evacuated. Be honest with you, I lost it for about 30 minutes. Like, I'm still fairly new in Flagstaff. What am I going to do? So I go and meet the family. Again, I told you I got very close with them. They had already started getting hotel rooms, so that's all set. Um, my job before Flags, before Little America, I worked at Pinewood Country Club, worked really close with the food and beverage director. And he is at Forest Highlands. Call him up. Is your lawn being used? No. Good. Hold on to it. <laughs> <laughs> so then I call Jackson's Grill. When it was open, it's open, closed, open, closed. You never know. But it was open. The patio outside was available. Okay. This is the reason why my BEOs have the baker, the floors, and everything was there. Because that's all I had as I was driving around. Um, sent the staff back to get tablecloths and centerpieces, which they had to go through the fire brigade, but they let them in, told them what they were getting, <laughs> and they went there. Called the florist, bring your arch and your flowers, because we were going to Forest Highlands. Called the cake, it's going to Jackson Grill. We were about only an hour behind, but we did it, we made it happen, and I believe in plan B, C, D, and E, because it was it was just scary. I just, and then the next day is when we had the other fire. But the couple was happy. Um, the fire did not get to the hotel. There, the arch is here on the beautiful green grass. It was a beautiful setting. And I'm looking through the arch and see smoke. 
I don't know if I have a job the next day, but we're going to make this happen, okay? So we get through the ceremony, and they're just about done, and I look over here, and there's a sprinkler going off. Then there's another one going on. So I go inside, and I ask him, are they turned off? He says, yeah, I asked them to. Ask them to? I said, okay. So they came out of the, uh, uh, come back after the ceremony. I said, let's go over there and take pictures because I don't know if the sprinklers are gone. They never did, but you're just constantly watching for things that are going to happen. But as you can see, hotel's still standing. It was clear the bride and groom got to come back to the hotel and still have their honeymoon. I had a party that night. Yeah? I had an yeah. outdoor party in Continental. Oh. And the tanker plane, we're sitting here, and, and people couldn't get to the party because they closed the neighborhood. And, and the tanker is dropping slurry, and it's coming over the house, and it's rattling, and we're like, go higher, go higher, go higher, lift, please, lift. It was literally just, whoa. <laughs> and you're going, oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah, I remember that day. Yeah. Everything went well. A honeymoon in Las Vegas. Something else was on their side. Came back with a lot of money. I guess that worked out pretty good. <laughs> Saw them two years later. Brought me some pictures, and um, I look at the clear skies a little differently. <laughs> yeah, especially in June. Especially in June. Yes. So that was my excitement. <laughs> um, I have several. Okay, when I worked at Mohegan Sun, we set up, we had to, we had to work for the tribal, Mohegan Sun tribe. I went through a wedding for one of the tribal members. Um, but this is what I did that was wrong. I turned the seating arrangements, so the seating actual floor plan was backwards. So, if you think, I think I didn't have a head table. Um, I had the guests that were cousins or distant, were sitting up front, where the family was supposed to sit, the bride, the groom, it was all flipped around. Did not know this until my bride came in and said, where am I sitting? And I'm like, oh, you're sitting right, oh, that's table 20. No. Oh, we have a special table for you. Do you know what I did? Ran in the back, threw anything I could get, and made it a sweetheart table. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad we had tables that rolled. Because <laughs> I rolled it out, followed by the wedding cake. <laughs> and I said, I thought we would do this differently because you're tribal, you're so important. <laughs> and we thought we would showcase you. Why is my family sitting in the back? Oh, the band is very loud, so I didn't want them to be affected by the sound. <laughs> they get on your feet. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, because it was a live band, so the large dance floor. I, said, I didn't want them to get in the way. <laughs> what about the bridal party? I didn't want them to trip on the dresses. You, no. you know they spend so much money on that. <laughs> and all it. And the reason why I thought of that was just knowing the bride and groom, knowing them, what was important to them. They didn't like the spotlight, but they wanted to make sure, being tribal, that they were show showcased. But they didn't want to be out in the middle, but I forced them out in the middle. <laughs> without saying go, well, pretty much pushing them. But um, it helped me just knowing my clients and understanding what's important to them as well. I worked out to, to my advantage, but in the back I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, what do I do, what do I do? And I freaked out when I said, this is table 20, it's not table 1. You know, ah, you know, one of those yeah. things, those little dances you do, and, you're yeah. just like, oh. and then you start going, go get this, go get this. And you just start sending people in all these directions, and you somehow pull it off. And then that just reminded me, again, to look at the details. Even though I knew, I, back then I thought, oh, I could do this nicely. Let's just look at the details. Pay attention to the details. The little things. 